Mondo's vault isn't all speed. So to get from here to here isn't all speed. He uses more of his speed to get from here to here than he does from there to here. By doing that, he can use more of his speed to go in and load the pole on the first part of the vault to the tap. So he transfers that run energy, that speed, into the pole more efficiently. He's got a soft top arm here. That way there's nothing slowing those shoulders down from getting into the core to the pole. So that first action is going to be down the core to the pole with that top arm. It swings into there. And then that hanging action, hang, 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 hang. The hips, shoulders go in, hips, knee, then feet down the core of the pole, that sequence of moves creates thrust and loads that pole more. So he uses his speed, more of his speed in the first half than everybody else in the first half. So he uses up all that speed. He's able to use more of his speed in the first half of his ball to hold higher, to bend the pole more, to load the pole more, and that's what shortens this lever length to move everything forward. When he does this, he has to have something to keep him going. That something is sequential motion. Leg comes up first, and if it comes all the way up there, it drives energy in that direction. Which drives the top hand, the shoulders, and the hips down which adds energy to the system. It's loading this pole more and shortening the lever line so everything moves forward. So the leg comes up first. That drives the top hand, shoulders, and hips down the cord of the pole. That adds energy to the system. Now he's using that sequential motion to move everything forward rather than simply relying on that speed energy. He's already used up that speed energy in the first half of his vault. So now he relies on this muscle strength here and this sequence to initiate the swing up. And it's two swings. Two swings creates more of a linear action up the cord. So his legs go up. Then his hips up, and that creates this drive down of the shoulders. And watch his legs go, more of his body goes up the cord. Up the cord. There's the cord of the pole. And by bottom up first, then hips up, he creates that more of a linear lift up the cord of the pole. And then what happens? There's the cord of the pole, and he gets inside here, inside the cord of the pole, to where he can go up the line, turn that pole back underneath him, and how tight he remains with the cord of the pole. Shoulders and hips in line with the cord.